Okay, today I'm going to make a video about watering my greenhouse. In the summertime I use the drip lines. These long black lines that are on the ground going back and forth. In the winter time I only water a couple of times a week. Sometimes only once every three weeks. So I use a watering wand and then I can just spot water things that need it because too much water can be bad. So I just let the water go and then I put on about as much water as I need. So I'm not going to speed this video up and then you can see in real time how much water I'm actually putting on the ground. Okay, I will water everywhere. I'm going to water the beds that have plants in them like this. And I'm going to water my walkways. Why would I water my walkways? Because hopefully I have earthworms in my walkways. Tunneling back and forth. I want to keep the entire environment saturated. In bed 6 over here, I have nothing but cardboard. And we have an emergency. There's a cabbage looper. I'm killing that thing. It's going to die. No matter what you're doing, you always stop to kill a cabbage looper. Do not let these things live. These are bad. This is a cabbage looper. It's the white butterfly. I think the real name is an imported cabbage worm. But these are the little green worms. This is the adult stage of the little green worm that gets on broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, all those coal crops. These guys will kill your crops. So anyway, he's dead. I just killed two of them. So they're hatching in here because there's snow everywhere outside. So I know they're not coming, they're not migrating through, they're actually hatching in here from last summer. I had a lot of them. So that's, this is serious. But I better get back to water and I'm flooding that one area. But this was an emergency.
Okay, that concludes our watering video. If you have specific questions on watering, you ask me in the comments.